Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics. I want to do the Laplace transform of the trigonometric functions cosine sine using the trick. Here's a quick review. We take a function in normal space and take its Laplace transform and go to the s space. So this is the t variable on the left and the s variable on the right. And by taking the function f of t to be e to the a t, you can do the integral very easily since the a and the s couple together to give you a minus s. And when you integrate, you simply get 1 over s minus a as we found earlier. Also, the exponential is very powerful in using a more general case, e to the at times f of t. Here, when the a couples with the s, you have the definition of the Laplace transform where s minus a is in there instead of your normal s by itself. So, in other words, the Laplace transform of this combination is simply the Laplace transform of the f function shifted. So once when we see that, you can actually do the case where f of t is 1. And remember, the Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. So when you apply that, you get then 1 over s minus a for the e to the a t case. Well, how can we do the sine and cosine very quickly? Here is how. We use the old trick of real and imaginary. The real and imaginary trick uses the Euler relation where i is a separator. It keeps the cosine and sine separate. So when you do your calculation, stuff will be on the real side and stuff here with the i is the imaginary. And when you get done, whatever hits the imaginary is your answer for the sine and your real goes with the cosine. So here, by taking the Laplace transform of e to the a t, we already did that and got 1 over s minus a. So with a equal to i omega, to do both of these at the same time, then we get 1 over s minus i omega. We multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate to free up the i from the denominator. So the denominator is s squared plus omega squared, and the numerator is simply s plus i omega. And now you can just pick off the Laplace transform of the cosine as s over the denominator, s squared plus omega squared. And for the sine, whatever multiplies the i, which is the omega over the denominator, gives you the Laplace transform for the sine. So that's a shortcut, fast way to do it, and it reviews our real and imaginary trick that we saw earlier in our course.